So here we have a situation where we have a wind turbine and we're looking at the behaviour of the blades and we're picking one of the blades and measuring the height of that blade above the ground over the course of time. The blades that rotate circular fashion, if we look at the tip of one of them, over time, if we were to plot the heights, we would end up seeing a, a sine curve or cosine curve. So the formula for H is given here. It's got two parts, one with sines and cosines in it, and a plus 65. The plus 65 will be this element where the centre of the wind turbine is 65 above, metres above the ground. And this part of it with the sines and cosines will be the contribution that gives the sine wave. So the first part of, of this asks us to rewrite the 36 sine 1.5 t minus 15 cos 1.5 t in a different form. And it's in this sine form where it's a, some constant times sine of an angle which ultimately will give us this sine curve shape to the graph and of the height. So let's just look very carefully at the right hand side of this equation where we know that the sine of the difference of two angles can be expanded. We have a formula that says in this case it'll be sine 1.5t cos alpha and minus cos 1.5t sine alpha. So that's your sine cos cos sine alpha. However, everything gets multiplied by a k term, so both of these will be multi multiplied by a factor of k. Now, since this left-hand side and this right-hand side are going to be identical, let's first of all look at the term sine 1.5t which here on the left-hand side is multiplied by 36. And over on this right-hand side, the term sine 1.5t, the term that has that in it, is multiplied by a k and a cos alpha. So we can equate these two coefficients, the 36 and the k cos alpha must be identical. And then a similar sort of thing goes on with the cos 1.5t term. This has a minus 15 there, and, well, there's a minus there. So let's look at the coefficient. It's minus 15 here, and it's minus k times sine alpha over here. That's the, the factors that are multiplying cos 1.5t. So again, these two coefficients can be equated. They must be identical. So let's write that down. The first one is that k cos alpha is equal to 36 and also k sine alpha. These two negatives will cancel out. k sine alpha will be equal to 15. So there's uh, two simultaneous equations to solve. The method we use to get rid of k, for instance, is to divide the sine equation by the cosine equation. So if we take the two left-hand sides and divide k sine alpha by k cos alpha, we should get the same as 15 divided by 36. Now we're doing that because the k's cancel, and we also know that sine over cos always gives us tan. So tan alpha is equal to 15 over 36. 
And we're in radians here. Notice that alpha has to be between 0 and pi upon 2. It's in the first quadrant. So we'll need to employ our calculator, make sure it's in radian mode, to find out what the angle is that has a tangent of 15 over 36. So that'll be our tan to the minus 1. You'll use our second function, tan. Um, on my calculator, it's a tan. What angle has a tangent? That is 15 over 36. So 15 divided by 36. And we get this number. So alpha is equal to 0 0.394. We'll round it to 8. And we'll say that's to four significant figures. Now, which means that I'm, if I'm calculating with this, uh, I'll need to watch that I don't go that I don't get errors in this, so I, I probably would be able to go to two significant figures if I'm doing a bit of calculation with this. So keep the digits as accurate or more accurate than your final answer, certainly. So that's uh, the value of alpha. And let's now look at the value of k. How do we find that? Well, the method is to square both sides and add them. So let's square the k sine alpha, k squared sine squared alpha, and then let's square the k cos alpha. It could be k squared cos squared alpha and add them. And that must be the same as 15 squared plus 36 squared. Now the left hand side has a factor of k squared and you'd be left with sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha which is 1. So we'll have k squared times 1. So it's just k squared. And that'll equal 39 squared. You can work this out in your calculation calculator. It's actually a, a 5, 12, 13 triangle. 3 times a 5, 12, 13 triangle. Anyway, use your calculator for that and we'd end up with k being 39. So we've finally found alpha and we've find, found what k is. So we can now say that uh, height is equal to 39 times sine 1.5t minus 0 0.3. 948. And we're asked to find two values for t so that the tip of this blade, sorry, it'll be that height plus the 65. I'd forgotten about that. So there's a plus 65 at the end. All we did was take the first two terms and rewrite them in this form. So we'll have a 65 to add on there. So we're asked to find two values of t for which the tip of this blade is at a height of 100 metres. So that'll equal 100. So let's subtract 65 from both sides and then divide by 39. That'll leave us with the sine of an angle. That's 1.5t minus 0 0.3948. Sine of an angle being equal to... Now that's 35 divided by the 39. And again, we can do our, our trick of saying, well, what is the angle whose sine is 35 over 39? However, we have to appreciate that this angle, complicated though it is, uh, since it's positive, will be in the first and the second quadrants for it to be positive. So 1.5t minus 0 0.3948 is in first or second quads only. Now the first quad angle we will get by just asking what's this, what angle has a sine of 35 over 39. Find the angle, sorry. Find the angle whose sine is 35 divided by 39. And that's this angle. 
So 1.5t minus 0.3948 is equal to 1.1139 or, that's first quadrant, second quadrant would be pi minus 1.1139 and so on. So let's proceed to find what t is. 1.5t would have to add 0 0.3948 to both sides of these and then divide by the 1.5. So t will be equal to the 1.1139 plus the 0 0.3948 and then divide by the 1.5 or the pi minus 1.1139 plus the 0 0.3948 again divided by the 1.5t we don't want 1.5t we want t so we divide by the 1.5 so there's our calculations which again we'll have to do on this calculator so let's do that 1.1139 there it is sitting there add 0 0.3948 0.3948 and then whatever that comes to which is this will divide by 1.5 and that gets us a value of 1.0058 and so on or second one down here we'll take pi and subtract 1.1139 and then add 0.3948 whatever that comes to will divide by 1.5 so we get 1.6149 and so on so, the tip achieves 100 metres after, well let's round them to one decimal place because remember we had rounding going on to four significant figures so we can't be too accurate here. But it will be safe if we do 1.0 seconds and 1.6 seconds.